After more than a full year with so many Syracuse City school students staying at home, the district has now come up with an aggressive plan to bring everybody back to the classroom. News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc joins us now live with a breakdown. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Dan and Nicole. Yeah, that targeted start date is just three weeks away, and we're told they chose April 12th because that's the start of the fourth marking period, and their goal here is to double the amount of in-person learning for each grade level, and they're accomplishing that, but still, 25% of families want to stay home and learn remotely. So here's a breakdown of that plan. Now, the CDC says desk partitions are not necessary, but the district will still be using them as a tool with the students sitting three feet apart. They've bought thousands of them on top of face shields, masks, and thermometers. As for the plan for each grade level, it varies based on demand for in person learning. Grades pre K through five will be heading back to school five days a week. There will be assigned seating, and lunch seating will depend on the school. Students will always be three feet apart. And they'll either be in their classroom or in the cafeteria with desk barriers. As for grades six through eight, half of families have chosen to stay remote. Students are given the option to come in four days a week for half of the day, spending the rest of the day at home learning remotely. Wednesdays will be used as a support day for students and teachers. And here, there will be no issue with lunch since it's given in a grab and go fashion. As for high schoolers, this is where most families want to stay remote. So a third of students will be coming in two days a week for only half of the day, and they'll remain remote for the rest of the day. Now, board members expressing concern for the lack of in-person instruction for high schoolers. I would like to have them more time, but I mean, the schedule is going to be a little more difficult to uh, write for the high school. So we are providing that extra social emotional support. Now, Superintendent Jaime Alasea says there will be a strong focus on mental health support for both remote learners, in-person learners, staff, and families. He says they have what they call wellness champions in each building who will be checking in on these people and making sure they're utilizing resources like tele-mental health. He understands some of these kids have been home for a year. They're going to need some time to adjust, especially when it comes to their social, emotional well-being, and they'll provide that for them. We're live outside of Dr. Weeks, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.